What's the word, y'all? I could not believe what I just witnessed. The NBA All-Star starters were announced live on TNT. And you know what? I like the way they did this year. They they didn't allow Woj or Shams to spoil it. They had somebody with a briefcase, and it was the first time that the whole world had seen it. And I liked it like that. There was some anticipation behind it. Wiggins is an all-star starter. This is and a big this is a big one here. Andrew Wiggins of the Golden State. No Lakers. fucking Congrats, way! Congratulations, and, Andrew. And so Listen, if you look at every single one of the returns, uh, they came out as as they allow fans to to get 50% of the vote. Wiggins had been top two, top three, top four when it come to front court the entire time. And people are saying that the K-pop stands got into there. And of course, you got the dub fans. You got all of Canada. He's got a good fan base. But never in a million years did I think that even though he was top whatever when it comes to amount of votes, that he was going to be an all-star, let alone an all-star starter. And the fact that he is in there... The NBA might have to change some things. Now, I do want to say congratulations to Andrew Wiggins and his family. Being an all-star is something that people dream of. I mean, he's a guy that was drafted first overall, had a good rookie season, and then it just seems like the narrative around Andrew Wiggins was at empty stats. He doesn't equal winning. He's a poor defender. And a lot of those things have changed since he got to the Warriors. He's a plus defender. He's hitting his three-pointers 40%. But even with that said, bro shouldn't be an all-star. You can disagree. That's completely okay. About a month ago, I put together my all-star ballot, and we were going through it, and Wiggins was not on my list. And one of the top comments on it was like, Kenny, you got to give Wiggins the respect. And I respect Wiggins as a basketball player, but in my mind, when I watch the Golden State Warriors, when I watch NBA as much as I do, Wiggins is not on the tier of the NBA all-star players. It definitely not in the starters. Now, again, the starters are, are by the fans and the media and, and, and the players. I'm just so surprised that he got enough players and enough media to say Wiggins deserved to be there. And I guess he didn't meet, need that many because the fans rolled with him like that. I thought this was about to be a little Zaza Pachulia thing. Now, obviously, Wiggins is a million times better than what Zaza Pachulia was when he had the whole country of Georgia behind him, right? Country of Georgia? It's just weird. And and Adam Silver, we got to re we gotta rethink about these percentages, my boy. Maybe it's 33, 33, 33, and then you, you, Adam Silver, get 1%. Because this is kind of wild. Now, if you remember my video when we were doing my all-star selections, I vividly said that last front court spot is so hard to pick. I think I end, end up giving it to Draymond, his teammate. So the Warriors about to have three all-stars. So you're trying to tell me Draymond Green being out with his injuries, them having two all-star st starters, and they can barely get... So I think I gave it to Draymond Green as a starter, but even then, then I was like, it could be anybody. I didn't mean that literally. <laughs> I definitely didn't mean that literally. So there's a couple things that could be reformatted to prevent stuff like this from happening. Again, I don't want to take away this moment for Wiggins because I know he is on cloud nine, his family is on cloud nine, Dub Nation is on cloud nine, and everybody that is rooted for Wiggins for the entirety of his basketball career is on cloud nine. But let's keep it a buck. You got you gotta be you, look at the players that are also all-star starters and compare Wiggins to them. I asked because I did a live reaction. Is Wiggins going to be the last person drafted in the starters? And my guess will probably be yes, unless Kevin Durant or Braun really mess with Wiggins on a personal level. And there is a meme that, like, people always ask, who is the worst player to ever make an all-star appearance? And the last couple years, people have been saying, it's DeMontis Sabonis, it's DeMontis Sabonis, it's DeMontis Sabonis. Wiggins has hit that, that conversation because DeMontis Sabonis was still, like, the number one on the team. And though they weren't a great team, they were still a, a playoff caliber team. Wiggins is number three on this team. The number th three most important player on, on, granted, a really, really good team, but still number three. And it's not even, like, number three on the greatest team of all time. This is not a Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, Draymond Green, 73-9 and nine type team. This is a team that started off amazingly, but since then have slowed down just, just enough for them not to have the best record in the league. The Suns don't have a single... I think it was uh, Charles Barkley, Kenny the Jets. It was like the, the Suns don't have a single all-star as the best record in the league or starter. Which, again, I'm not saying that D-Book deserved to make it over the other backcourt players or Chris Paul deserved to have it over the other backcourt players, but this is the thing that I'm saying. When it comes to these things... We're playing in the game of positionless basketball anyway. Let's get rid of it. Let's get rid of it. Because I can name I can name seven, seven guards that are more worthy of an all-star starter spot than Wiggins is. But since Wiggins is a front court, hey, there it is. And I hate doing videos like this because it feels like I'm, I'm singling out or, or targeting Andrew Wiggins. But if you go on Twitter, the number one trending thing... <laughs> It's Wiggins. And at the end of the day, it doesn't, none of this really matters. Um, it just adds something to Wiggins' resume, you know? Um, 
whose spot did he take? I don't know. Paul George is injured, so he might not have been playing anyway. And I'm not really thinking about it like that. I'm just trying to put him on the same playing field as the other players that were announced. <laughs> Look at this. First of all, amazing. Fire. Whoever did this, amazing. How did you, how did they do it so fast? Because the way they, they told us, nobody knew these things. They just completed this like five minutes ago, and they already had this graphic. Now, you could have probably guessed like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven were guarantees. Like I said, there was a coin flip between like John Moran and maybe Book or maybe Donovan Mitchell, but John Moran is turning up so much recently that it makes sense that he's here. It was between Trey Young and Zach Levine, so maybe they already had this spot depending on whether it was Trey or whether it was Zach. We exist. <laughs> this reminds me of the Klay Thompson All Star picture. So it's all in the family. At the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. Congratulations to Andrew Wiggins for being an all-star. I'm excited for you because I remember a bunch of different hit pieces about Andrew Wiggins over the past four years when it comes to NBA YouTube. Um, and again, I don't think he deserves to be a starter, but I'm not demeaning the fact that he is a, a quality NBA player and one of the most important players to one of the best teams in basketball. So shout out to him. Congratulations. I cannot wait to watch the draft. Last year they was they was on it when it came to the Utah Jazz at the end of the like uh the overall draft. I wonder what is said or done about Wiggins when it comes to the starter draft. Let me know in the comment section. Is this the right move or is this the wrong move? How do you feel? I'm always down there reading stuff, so I, I'll be there. Uh, you know, I, I'm just proud of my with my boy. Uh, I, I forget that uh, my boy Mark Eversley works with the Bulls. I forget the general manager name. He came from something. I can't even pronounce it. 